Good day and peace be with you. Today's Monday, the 23rd of May, 2022. Let us pray. Father, thank you for bringing us through another busy weekend. Thank you that we have woken up this morning. Thank you that we are able to listen to your word. Be with us throughout the day, dear Lord Father. Be with our loved ones. Dear Lord Father, today we know that we will be faced with many temptations. We do thank you for the gift of your word and ask for you to fulfill your promise to lead us out of temptation. We pray that you will do just as you did in the midst of all the attacks for Jesus when he faced the enemy. Lord, as we walk through this life, stare your confidence in our heart to trust in who you say you are and that you are our wonderful counsellor for all the days of our lives and any decisions that we face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for reflection today continues from Deuteronomy 15 verses 12 to 18. And the theme is, do not send him away empty-handed. Beloved in Christ, let us listen to the word of the Lord. If any of your people, Hebrew men or women, sell themselves to you and serve you six years, in the seventh year, you must let them go free. And when you release them, do not send them away empty-handed. Supply them liberally from your flock, your threshing flock floor, and your wine press. Give to them the Lord your God has blessed you. Remember that you were slaves in Egypt and the Lord your God redeemed you. That is why I give you this command today. But if your servant says to you, I do not want you to leave because he loves you and your family is well off with you, then take an owl and push it through his earlobe into the door and he will become your servant for life. Do the same for your female servant. Do not consider it a hardship to set your servant free because their service to you these six years has been worth twice as much as that of a hired hand. And the Lord your God will bless you in everything you do. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. Remember to share the good news with others and have a blessed day. Amen.